From Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., Rosa Parks, to Congressman John Lewis, many of us know or learned in school the names of those who led the way in the civil rights movement. But what do you know about Ella Jenkins? One author with ties to Chicago hopes to help children learn about the music icon. She turns 100 this August, and what a life she is living. She performed at Dr. King's Illinois Rally at Soldier Field. She became the first black woman to host her own children's show in Chicago. Most call her the first lady of children's music, and many call her a voice of change. All of you know my name? Yes. What's my name? Ella. Ella? Ella. Ella. Ella Jenkins. Ella Jenkins. Perhaps her name eludes you, but you felt her impact. Generations of kids grew up on Ella Jenkins' music. <laughs> yes. Three, now let's sing it. Oh. Head and shoulder, baby, one, two, three. Head and shoulder, baby, one, two, three. Head she became shoulder, a regular on shoulder, Mr. Rogers' shoulder, Neighborhood. And made uh, appearances on Barney, yeah. too. In this new children's book, A Life of Song. Growing up in Chicago, Illinois, she soaked up all the sounds around her. Kids and parents, too, will learn about the key notes Mrs. Jenkins played during the Civil Rights Movement. Ella has one question for you. Will you sing a song together? Hallelujah. This black woman was traveling literally all across the United States performing in white and some mixed race schools. Who fed the chickens? I did. Who stacked the hay? I did. For a lot of these kids, they probably hadn't seen a black person in a position of power. And the fact she's not someone that's like serving them or cleaning or anything like that. She was invited to perform and offer a gift of music to them. The author, Dr. Taiwana Taylor, says Mrs. Jenkins used music as a tool to unite people in divisive times. She hopes the book will spark intergenerational conversations. Ella Jenkins. Or they may look at her and think, you know what? She looks a little bit like grandma. I wonder if grandma went through that same type of situation. And then it makes it a little bit more close to home. The children's book is available at glowbooks.com. Glow is spelled G-L-O-O. -O. Dr. Taylor also told me she's spoken with Tim Farron. He's a well-known filmmaker. He's making the first ever documentary about Mrs. Jenkins. It should be out by year's end. I'll keep you updated.